Uh, right now, boxing is determined that, you know, it's a whole bunch of prospects that are becoming nice prospects. Everybody can fight. So boxing determine who's at the top, who stays at the top, and how long. Uh, right now, I'm just focused on myself. I'm working hard, and anybody they put in front of me is another step towards, the, you know, to the world championship. Do you feel like yeah. you, you are the best prospect in boxing right now? Absolutely. 100%. Why, why is that? What makes you the best prospect in boxing? Um, I'm constantly growing. I can see myself against, you know, anybody inside the ring right now, but my brothers and my father in my corner are keeping me focused. So I'm constantly getting better. And, you know, there's there's no limit to it, you know? It's, it's work. It's all work. You know, you know, and I'm ready for it. You know, people are, uh, you know, kind of taken back. They feel like you have an exceptional amount of skill for not being 20 years old yet. Uh, what do you attribute that to? And what do you see in the ring when you are fighting right now? I attribute that to I attribute that to uh, the ring IQ that my father has. He, what, what he sees in there, his vision is something not a lot of people have. You know, his vision inside the ring, what things that he see that I don't see when I, that when I'm in there, stuff I don't even see that my father can see. So that's what I attribute. You know, my second skills that come from, and then whatever. He might not see my other brothers will pick up on it. So it's a team effort for real. We got eyes everywhere, you know. Let me ask you a quick two part question, man. Who do you believe is the best on Shakur, Haney, and Javante? Second part, have you sparred either of them? Every fight yeah, I, I've been in camp with, uh, with Shakur and Haney. Well, I've been in camp with Shakur. I sparred Haney once. You know, everybody, boxing determined that, you know. Shakur, everybody knows he's the most technical. Javante got power. Devin Haney can box. So it just depends who, who does the best job, who does what they're good at, you know, against their opponent when they step in there. You know, what was that, that like, happens. What was that like for you sparring Tell me about that. What was that like? It was amazing. It was amazing. You know, that's uh that's elite level work. That's elite level work right there. Not a lot of people get a chance to finish to finish out the whole camp, you know. And uh it was, a, it was just good work. How would you uh yeah. c compare Haney and Shakur, you know, based off uh, sharing the ring with them, sparring with them? Uh, you can't really compare. I did a full camp with Shakur, so we sparred. We sparred for a few weeks at a time, you know, uh, two, three times a week. Well, Haney, I only sparred him once. I sparred him a few rounds, and that was when I was way younger. I was 16 at the time before I even, you know, turned pro. Before I was still amateur for a while, so you can't really, you know, match that up. Sparring is sparring, you know. But, yeah. uh, but they both elite level work, you know. What What did you, you know, take from sparring Shakur? What makes him elite? Uh. He sees a solid, he's all around solid fighter. Yeah, a lot of people got a lot of uh, weaknesses inside of the ring, uh, 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 strengths and weaknesses. You know, I would say he's an all around solid fighter. Do you think yeah. De Los Santos will be competitive in this fight with Shakur? I think Shakur got him. I think Shakur got him. You can't overlook no person, but I think Shakur got him. Was he like a pick him yeah. apart kind of thing, or? Uh, I don't know. We have to see. Yeah, yeah we have to see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I haven't watched too much of De Los Santos. Yeah. And Abdullah, um, you know, I don't think. Anyone questions that you could fight, but you know, in, in becoming a star in boxing, it sometimes takes a certain personality or getting lots of knockouts. What do you think about that when it comes to the, the, those aspects of trying to cross over and, and become a star? I, mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm working now. We, I think, I think we got it. I think we got it. You know, I'm working right now. You know, first I gotta, I gotta prove myself inside the ring. So that's what we're looking at. And after that, you know, that's what, that's, that's where everything else comes in. The, the fight yeah. with Kamenas is the most important fight in, in your career. You said which fight? The fight oh, with Okay, absolutely. Every fight, every every next fight is the most important fight. You know, right now he's who's, who's, he's the person that's in front of me. So that's that's my job to get in there and, and finish the job. You win by by KO. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. You know, with all the, the knockouts that you've been doing, how do you grade your future performances? Like, what do you work on? Like, because if you're getting everyone out, everyone's praising you, how can you get better if you're constantly just having these standout performances? Um, I mean, I just, you know, rewatch the fight, and uh, whoever whoever's in my corner, they let me know what they see. And I look back, and we all come together, and we figure it out from there. Yeah, after every fight, there's always something to work on. It's, not, it's never something that you, it's, it's never nothing to improve on, you know? Do you like the, um, the quick knockouts or do you like the slow breakdown methodical, take your time, eight rounds go by, guys getting tons of highlights from your, your punching, you know? I don't you know. Do? They both feel good, you know? So some nights is one way, some nights is the other way. I definitely like getting in there, having a, 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 a night, you know, having fun in there, you know, racking up highlights and then getting them out of there. But we'll see. Some nights I might be like, man, I want to get out of there a little early tonight, you know what I mean? And lastly, man, how, how much of a 
trouble is it for your opponents, your length at this weight class? You got long arms for being down at lightweight. Uh, I mean, it's an advantage I have, an advantage, you know, that I take advantage of. Yeah, so, I don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's Thank just, you. yeah, I'm here now and, uh, right, I don't know, you know? Yeah. Thank you, Abdullah. Thank you.